Hello everybody, this is Gamergar. Welcome back to another video of Stardew Valley. For today's video, we are going to bring you through a really cool guide on all the enchants you can get for your farming tools. We're going to cover really cool tips on all of the enchants and where best to utilize them. So without further ado, let's jump into the video and get started. The first tool enchantment we're going to talk about today is the auto hook for the fishing rod. This is really handy, especially if you're not really watching the fishing too much. It could be that you're watching something on Teddy, or if you just don't want to spend so much attention on fishing. This lovely enchantment will make sure that when the fish does nibble on your bait, it will hook it in for you so you can catch it, no problems at all. This saves an enormous amount of time, especially if you're distracted from real life. You don't have time to be constantly focused on fishing, waiting for the fish to nibble at that rod. The next enchant we're going to talk about is the master enchant you can put on your fishing rod. This gives you a plus one to fishing. Combine this with a key seasoned seafoam pudding for an absolutely ginormous fishing bar. As you can see here, we're fishing up a lava eel, and it's a lot more manageable when your fishing bar is so big. It also makes a lot of the legendary fish more manageable too when you have a really big fishing bar. And it also makes getting perfects and a lot of fish in the game a lot easier because the fishing bar is so big. So you can't go wrong with the master enchantment. The next enchantment we're going to talk about here is the bottomless enchant that you can get, specifically for the watering can. This can come in handy in the volcano cave, but outside of the volcano cave, it's not very useful because normally places where you do use your watering can, you will have the ability to go get water. For example, you can get water inside your house, you can get water from patches all around your farm. Another enchant you get for the watering can is called Reaching, and this will actually give it an extra charge where you can cover a 5x5 five five tile area. This is absolutely amazing, especially if you don't have a whole lot of sprinklers on your farm. You can very quickly and very efficiently cover all your crops with water using the Reaching enchant. It's an absolutely magnificent enchant, and I would take it over the bottomless enchant. But that's just my opinion. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what enchant would you pick with your watering can. Next up, let's talk about the hose. The enchant we're using here now at the moment is called Archaeologist and it doubles the chance of finding artifacts in artifact spots. As we can see here, I'm pulling up lots of artifacts using this enchant. I would choose this enchant if I didn't have all of the, um, the bundles completed for Gunther. But once I have everything done with Gunther, I would very quickly switch it to the Generous Enchant, which you see here. And the Generous Enchant means that there's a 50% chance of getting double items after digging. So you go down to the caves here, where all this sand is, or clay, and you, you, you can just haul this whole area away and you will get absolute tons of clay, cave carrots, artifacts. Next up, let's talk about the powerful Enchant. I have two Iridium pickaxes here, thanks to a mod that I'm using. As we can see, it takes a good handful of swings to break open the first Iridium node. With the powerful enchant, however, it takes the same number of swings. So having the powerful enchant on the pickaxe doesn't make a shred of a difference when it comes to breaking open Iridium ores or when it comes to breaking up these big rocks if you want to farm stone. So at this point in end time, I wouldn't go with the powerful enchant at all. I feel like it's a bit of a waste of an enchant. But let's look at the advanced ores in the game. Let's look at the radioactive ores. One, two, three, four, five swings with the regular pickaxe to break open a radioactive ore. Let's use the axe with the powerful enchant, and it's the same amount of swings. So you don't really get the benefit here when it comes to radioactive ore either, you know? Um, so when it comes to the powerful enchant, my advice would be to maybe, t you know, take something different. Speaking of taking something that's different, let's have a look at a pickaxe here with the swift enchant. As you can see, the pickaxe swings a lot faster. And this is an absolutely marvelous enchant because you can very quickly clear out nodes with this because it swings so fast. So if I had to choose between the powerful enchant and the swift enchant, I'd probably go with the swift myself because it just speeds up everything. Next up, let's look at our iridium axe. So we have two iridium axes, one with the powerful enchant and one without. As we can see, it takes two swings to knock down a tree and one extra swing to wipe out the stump. With the powerful axe, let's see how many swings it's gonna take. So I just switched over to the iridium axe right now with the powerful enchant. And as we can see, it takes the exact same amount of swings to cut down regular trees. Let's have a look at 
different tree types here now. These are just regular trees, and as we can see, the powerful inchad doesn't do anything different. But what about the mahogany trees? These trees drop hard when we cut them down. Let's use our regular axe here now to see if there is a difference. Two swings to take the tree out, one swing to take out the stump. We just go one more time here again. So it's two and then one. Let's use our axe with the powerful inchad, and it's the exact same. It's two swings to take out the tree, one swing to take out the stump. So when it comes to even mahogany trees, there is no point in getting the powerful inchad for the axe because it's not going to make a difference when it comes to farming wood for you. Let's have a look at the swift inchad with the axe. As we can see, the axe swings 33% faster, so you're going to make a lot shorter work of these trees, meaning you can gather a lot more wood in a single day. So the swift inchad, in my opinion, is the way to go. As we can see, the axe is really fast, and you can clear away forests very quickly using this powerful inchad. But there is another inchad that we're going to take a look at that might be a bit of a game changer. It's called a shaving inchad. And what shaving actually does is it gives you three extra regular wood from oak, maple, pine, palm and mahogany trees. It also gives you three wood from mushroom trees. It, it also gives you a chance to get extra hardwood from stumps, you know, from those hardwood stumps. And there's also a chance that it will give you extra produce from giant crops. So this enchant has multiple functions. And what I really like about this enchant is that extra wood is always welcome, even though it's just a few wood per trees. If you're making giant tree farms, that few wood per tree will absolutely add up and you can get a few extra 100 wood out of it by the time you're finished. If we take a look at the tree stumps here, as we can see, I'm getting on average one extra hardwood for these tree stumps. So if you're farming hardwood and you don't have a big mahogany tree farm and all you can do is farm these stumps, get that one extra hardwood from each of these nodes will make a very big difference in the long run, especially if you want to fix up willy ship for example to repair the hull or if you want to get a horse for your farm or if you want to get some sort of an upgrade done to your house hardwood is required for all of those things next up i'm just going to show you two giant crops here we're going to destroy one using a regular axe and we're going to destroy the other one using an axe with a shaving inch end. so we get 19 cauliflowers there from destroying that crop let's destroy the next giant cauliflower using our enchanted axe we get back 22 cauliflowers so it was a good difference in my opinion either go with the shaving enchant or the swift enchant for the axe what is your favorite tool enchant and why leave a note in the comments so we can chat about it there i hope to hear from you soon so i'm gonna leave the video there i hope you enjoyed it i will upload the next stardew valley video in the next day or two so stay tuned for that check out my other videos if you haven't done so already stardew valley content is released Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. So if you like Star Giovanni content, you'd absolutely love this channel, so make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.